All right, so before we get started, we're just going to check if we have a base scene set. So I'm going to do this by just coming over and pressing the play arrow at the top right corner. It says I don't have one selected, so I'm just going to select the base scene. Right, now once I've done that, I can click on project, then export. And now I like to go and press add and select the Windows desktop or whatever operating system you're going to be using. For me, I've already got it downloaded, so I don't need to install it, but for you, you might need to. Anyway, I'm just going to leave all those things blank and then press export and select the file uh, folder, I mean, where I'm going to export it to. Um, right, so here we have our two files. We have an exe and a pck file. I would like to select them both and then press compress. Um, if you're on Windows or Linux, you might need to install a, a special software to do it. But in Mac, it's built in. So now it's going to give me archive.zip. I normally like to go and rename it because sometimes it just doesn't want to work. It's still called archive.zip. Anyway, I've got it done. I'm just going to switch over to itch here. Go to my dashboard by clicking the drop down menu. I'm going to press add, a, well, I mean, create a new project. And then I'm going to give it a title. So in this case, it's City Builder. Alright, so I can just come down here and I'm going to add a file for the game. I'm just going to select the zip file. I do not need to select the exe or pck file because that's already in the zip. Now if it just uploads here, I can go and select that it's specifically for Windows. And I can scroll down and then I can find and press the save and view page button. Right, cool.